Hello and welcome back. Today we're on Google Cloud. We're going to deploy a car price predictor model. Okay, as you can see, the model is 89% accurate. This is how you save it as a pickle file, obviously. Okay, and then it's good to uh, put the updated data frame for later when you got to do a test of prediction, obviously. Okay, I had already deployed this one previously before. So, the car sales regression model. Right here. But, while it's deploying, since it's already in the bucket, what you do is you put it in the, the pickle file in the bucket. And then you come to here, you create a model version. Car. it whatever you want pretty much okay so it's obviously with Python 3.7 framework scikit-learn this is why it's good to do it in Jupyter lab so it's the same version of scikit-learn you don't want to create it with the wrong one because what if it's not an option right here okay runtime version 2.1 now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here to this bucket where the model I already previously placed it here you gotta upload them but you gotta save it as a mo the model dot pickle otherwise you'll have an error it can't be anything else okay we're good to go it's green don't mess with any of this unless you need to okay while we watch it deploy we're gonna set up our first prediction okay Test and use. Obviously, eventually we'll get to a lesson on big query if we need to. Okay, one simple thing you can do is here's the input data, right? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you a shortcut. Okay, since you're doing an API call to the model, you're not doing it from your notebook this time. What you're going to do is... I'm going to go to Instances. Okay, here we go. Control C. Control V. Okay, now we're going to put a space and then we're going to put this for later. Control C, because this always has to be at the bottom. Control V. Okay. Now we're going to go back to the notebook. Okay. Remember, there's 22 columns it's supposed to predict. Okay, so we're just going to pick this one and then fill in the gaps oh, 
One, two. Remember, I label encoded them earlier so they'd each have a number. This was 89% accurate with the Bayesian model. Next, we're going to go to DF info to get the gap in between here. Remember, this is a predictive model. This is why you deploy them. So at car width, car width and cylinder number, we're going to go in between those two. Okay, so engine type, curb weight, and car height. Okay. So we're going to go with 90, and then we'll go with 20, and then we'll go with 2.2. Remember, this is just to give you a good idea. Oh, that's right. You always gotta Well, hold on a sec. Has it deployed yet? Full finished deploying now. That's why. It'll finish deploying in one minute. The second it does it, we'll click our first test. Remember, this is why you deploy predictive models. So they can serve as many people. Um, alter the model inside here as well. But, of course, just like AWS. Create an authorization token and then use the address. Okay, while it's creating, let's make sure we got a comma around all of them and count. Still creating. Let's go back to Jupiter Lab. There's no point in waiting around. OK. 
to. Should be done any second. Remember, don't don't leave this page unless you want to type in your first test again. I'll show you in a after this vid, not after this video, but after we test our first prediction. I'll show you the metrics. You can look for the model. Later on down the road, I'll show you how to make a pipeline over here. That's when retrain the model as well, when the model's got drift. Oh, I missed a comma. I'm sure wouldn't want that. Remember, this is Jason, so...